not this is for non-profit entertainment purposes only this is not official an official trailer teaser or representation of gambit x-men or its affiliates no nah, this ain't nonsense this is non-fiction so excuse if the content is offensive it's official now that we have been acquainted this is my pleasure my pain you were entertaining What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Not Fiction. Come back at you one more time with a brand new reaction. And this time, the reaction is for a fan film for the Marvel character of Gambit. Yes, Gambit. It's a character that many people, many comic book fans have been wanting to be in the X-Men universe. But now, to the MCU, since we know the X-Men are coming, I hope they bring Gambit in some way, shape, or form. Um... This actually was created a little while back, but it's something I always wanted to watch. I've always wanted to do a reaction to. It's on Nick Bateman's page, and he, I believe he is the person playing Gambit. And there are several characters that they have created, that they have used and brought to life in this in this um, short film. But I really wanted to just actually just get into it and just watch it. You know, I don't want to really dissect it. I just want to watch it, check it out and see how it is. And then after we can talk about how we felt about it, you know, keep it simple. <laughs> Anyways, um, here, let's pull it up. Okay. So like I said, Gambit is called Play for Keeps. This is, of course, unofficial. This is fan made. This has nothing to do with Marvel, X-Men, anybody, you know, Disney, Disney, it's a, uh, it's just something I, I've been wanting, like, it's, like I said, it's something I've been really wanting to check out. So we're going to just get to it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Okay. It's a cool little CGI. Nice little comic book touch with that, you know what I'm saying? I love the old school car too. What is that? Oh. Cool little visuals. Okay. The Chevy. No. Woman, are you out of your goddamn mind? <laughs> okay, we kind of hear the accent a little bit. Cool, cool graphics. I like the, I like how it looks. I'm sure you're covered. Insurance ain't gonna cover a car that caught off the back of a truck. <laughs> okay. Where'd that bitch go now? <laughs> you say where'd that bitch go now? My employee is hosting very private, very exclusive poker game. Poker. Yeah, your boss will be pleased to know that you just stumbled upon the cram, the la cram of poker playing. And it just so happens that you know you can never turn down a good poker game. Money in my pocket. So if the stakes pique Remy's interest, I could be persuaded to attend. Such a pretty face. Shame he has to die. Oh. Sit. <laughs> okay. Gentlemen, please allow me to introduce. La Diablo Blanc. Ain't no need for no introduction. Now, when you've got a bounty on your head as high as he does, now I know a lot of bad people pay a lot of good money to cut you from ear to ear. God Oops. damn. That is about being the only a mother could love. <laughs> I my mother. Motherfucker. Okay. Also 
joining us U.S. Senator Anthony Johnson. You may recognize him from his alleged email leak. Hysterical. Sad kids. Sexting a minor. She went to minor. But around here, he oh, Lord. the loyal friend. He said sexy. She wasn't a minor. Next. Ruthless African warlord and our number one customer, Jabari Kun. Mm. It's just a waste of both. I never understand why I do that. Time in Foreign Legion earned him over 300. That's interesting. I've definitely seen him in other movies. Butcher of Borsh. Oh, he's the Butcher of Borsh. I've definitely heard his name before. Our head of operations, Ashley. I don't know if it's in comics or I've heard his name in his other. I'll rip your fucking throat out. Other uh, movies. Okay. Or that there's always a butcher of something in movies. Okay. Wow, they got some uh, actual names up in here. <laughs> we have a full house tonight. Okay. Glad okay. To My friends and colleagues, thanks for joining me here tonight. And to our new guest, I have a feeling you're dying to make this your regular game. Gentlemen, the buy-in is one hundred thousand dollars. No ancient spells or apocalypse. Okay, so at that table, I, I know they two people's faces, anymore. like actually known from movies. Just walking around, money. Is that a? I can hardly believe it. The raging cage is in the mind. Was that Nixon on the on the on the money? Seems that... you have me at a disadvantage, Mister. How so? You know Remy. I don't know you. Maybe I can jag your memory. Cool now visual. Go Good transition. I like that. One of my games. There I was. Jackson Square. Naked as a jaybird. And I'm walking. Hey, asshole. Nobody gives a shit. Let's play some cards. Straight. King High. You cheated. He cheated. And how did you not see that there was a slip? That freak hustled me with his powers. <laughs> oh. For your trouble. Uh, good play on the transition. Affected by a freak like you in my line of work. Life gets hard. Life gets hard, pal. Yeah. I remember you. It was a two big gun runner back then. Okay. Yeah, he's gone. Try not to be rude if you want to live. They're really using her, uh, her gifts a lot. I rebuilt my reputation. Things done changed and been rearranged for both. Old alliances have been broken and new alliances have been made mr lanero's organization sells guns which fuels various conflicts around the world so show some fucking respect now you never see much in the news but i tell you what they made me a very rich man so all of them are pretty much eating eating off of him huh maybe three brothers that's why they're really there i get a discount i make a killing 
Well, when you sit on a wall, you're always losing. Not necessarily. For example, when a client disrespects me by making side deals with my competitors, It's a wrap, buddy. You know what? You guys seem like a fun bunch. Especially you. <laughs> sit down. I ain't gonna sit because you told me to. I'm gonna sit because... <laughs> oh, I like this chair. I think it's time to sweeten the pot. Dear, will you do me the honors? In addition to tonight's cash prize, the winner also takes home Rogue. Oh, I know. I think I know her face too. That looks so she looks familiar. What are you doing, dog? I'm not doing a damn thing. Oh, him using his powers. This device detects when you use your freak powers. And every time you do, it sends a Cool. Some of it is actually pretty cool. I like how they did some of them. Girlfriend over there. I don't know how much more she can take of this. <laughs> and if I refuse to play? Then I finish where I left off when I stole that bitch out of her bed. <laughs> wow. You know, Remy ain't gonna leave Rogue behind nowhere. All right, Nick. Let's play. All right, gentlemen, this is tournament style. He never do that. Hold them. Anyone here with superpowers, if you were caught using them, I can assure you, you'll be executed on sight. Let's all follow the rules. No splash in the pot. Please only bet when it is your turn. I can assure you that it is in your own best interest to follow these rules. How nice it is, all of us here playing an honorable game. All on amongst us thieves and at this table. Oh, don't be a crybaby, LaBoo. That's to the man with the haunting eyes. <laughs> you know, I'll give it to you, Nick. You play them gods well. You're not going to attain my victory, are you? If you want to win, you need to learn how to play the man. You look at your cards, thief. That's for the summon. Well, hell. What are <laughs> campaign fundraisers for, huh? Oh, come on. <laughs> come on come. You don't use the campaign money for gambling? That's Sounds familiar. Go shut her up. I'm trying to concentrate. Hey, honey, welcome home. What's it gonna be, Nick? How about you let me on down and I can give you a proper hello? Fuck it. This ends now. Suck my. <laughs> hey, Remy. What's better than three of a kind? Oh. Mm. Mr. Monero has four of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> Still beatable, though. <laughs> it's Remy. Come on, man.
<laughs> Rogue ain't no pushover. Whoever kills this prick takes home the whole fucking pot. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, that's cool, that's really cool, that's really damn cool, I like that, good touch. Just like bosses. The wall run too. Okay. Okay. Some dope bullet time. Okay, this my rogue with the hair should have her super strength by now. Good practical effects. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, 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 oh. So sorry for that dude. Had to go out the route the suffering way. Oh, <laughs> now that's that's cool. Says cut here. The assassins been wanting to kill you for a long time. I'm, I'm gonna put holes in you like you You're doing run. too much talking. Oh. Ah! See, too much talking. Any villain that does that much talking, they are soon God to die God. afterwards. Next time we're spending the extra bucks, we're buying from Stark. <laughs> it's this truly. He said from Stark. That's funny. So that must be a Justin Hammer tech <laughs> gun. See? Let's try one of your little tricks. Thermal time. Oh, now she's about to take your joints. I like how she dropped her back into her own little portal. That's cool. <laughs> it's like a pre premature. I like that. Okay. They show a rogue got some straight technique and not just like a straight brawler. Cause you know when she get her strength, she just a brawler. But this one, this one got some actual skill. You got any of that juice left, Cher? Oh, I think I got just a squeeze left. What you gonna squeeze? <laughs> oh, I have an idea where they're at. It's bad up get to leave your own party before it's over. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. I'll take that. <laughs> Damn. 
It's a wrap. I'm gonna miss that. Well, sure, it'd be nice if you thanked me for saving you. Oh. Oh. You took your damn time, sugar. Yeah, I was hungry. I know this great chicken and waffles place. <laughs> mm. Nikki's buying. <laughs> I like the way you think. Hi. <laughs> Anyone having the low spielers? <laughs> oh, no. I got you. He's <laughs> saying. I got you. <laughs> Uber pool. <laughs> He's like, ah! He got shot in the stomach. Or he like grazed or something. That was cool. I actually, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> I like when. Let me turn the volume down some. I like when I can watch a fan film and you could definitely tell they put a lot into it, put a lot of effort, put a lot of heart and soul to it because it wasn't like uh, it wasn't like all action and no script or no or all script and no action or the CGI was really bad. I mean, of course, you know, the CGI wasn't the greatest, but it still was really good and it fit everything fit the story. It made sense. Things things were well applied out, well planned out, well executed. You could tell he had a really good team with him. So this was really good. This was really, really good. So like I said, we like to do, we like to watch some fan made and this will go into the section fan made everything. So if you see something that you like that's a fan made and you think I might enjoy it or I might give a good reaction to it, um, just pause it right there. And that, you know, I might give a good reaction to it. Okay, it is that. Okay. Then one anything else to pop up. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. So, um, I, I enjoyed him as Gambit. The accent, for the most part, was okay. It wasn't that bad. Uh, only because I've been around people from from his area of the woods, the Baton Rouge area of, the, of, of Louisiana. And it wasn't bad. I'm not going to say it was horrible. But I, I just want to see a Gambit in the MCU. Like, I've been... Ever since I was introduced to that character in comics, and then really they brought him to life in the X-Men comic cartoon in the 90s I've always loved that character and I've always loved Rogue Rogue has always been a favorite Gambit Wolverine like of the X-Men Wolverine has always been like my top dog but Gambit and Rogue have always been right there behind him like I love their stories I love their backgrounds and there's so much you can do with them because their stories are so intertwined with one another and also with Wolverine so I don't know. I, I, I enjoyed that. You guys let me know what you thought about that that uh, fan-made uh, movie. Once again, it was called Gambit Play for Keeps. And like I said, it was created a little while back. But I've always wanted to react to it. So it's been on my, my list for a little while. And, you know, when the world kind of went haywire, I forgot to do it. You know, just like with the Wu-Tang thing. It's my fault. I apologize. Should have done this much sooner, but um, this was cool. I like this. This was really good. Directed by Jensen Nolan. Um, everything pertaining to their uh, short film is actually on the page. And like I said, this is just a fan-made project, fan film. And like it's, and the disclaimer says, this is not. This is for nonprofit entertainment purposes only. This is not official. An official trailer, teaser, or representation of Gambit X Men. Or its affiliates. So, there you go. There you have it. This is really cool. I, I really, like I said, I really enjoyed this. I like when I, I like when I watch something like this and I can see that people have really put their heart, they, they're all into a project, and you, it tells with the quality that comes out. The acting was good. The characters were fun and believable. You know what I'm saying? 
Now, the scene at the poker table when they started fighting and he hits the table and everything shoots up and he starts hitting it with his, his bow staff and starts shooting stuff with it. I was like, okay, that was so freaking cool. I like that. That was such a good idea. <laughs> and it's funny because on one of the comments, it's like Rogue was valued more in three minutes than in, than in 20 years on Fox. It's true. It's true. It actually really is true. Um, but if if I'm understanding correctly, the young lady that was, you know, old boy's henchman, that was magic, right? Yeah, magic. And now she's the she's the same one from the most recent um or well, the last Fox Marvel film, right? When they were teenagers in the in the asylum. That's the same one, right? Cause she she's supposed to be really, really strong. Yeah, the dealer. Yeah, de- yeah, yeah. I'm assuming that's the same magic. You guys, if you guys uh, know, let me know. Let me know, or if the person, who, if you guys, anyone who created this, happens to see this reaction, just I w- I'm curious. Let me know. I did. I enjoyed Rogue. Rogue was good. Her accent was okay. I I wish like you know because when when we see her fighting later on after she disposes of magic. You know, she seems she looks more skilled at that point, even though it's like slow motion and it's quicker in a short, a short amount of time. She looks more skilled. And I guess we can say that the magic using her ability is what caused it, caused the caused uh, Rogue not to be at 100 percent. But also she could still be at, could still have been re- rehabilitating. But the fact that she took her gloves off to take her power, I appreciate how they did that. It wasn't just like a they just did it really quick and moved on to the next character, you know. But I don't know. I I liked it. The music was good. I, for the most part, the CGI looks pretty cool. Of course, I mean there's some things that I noticed, and that's just me noticing stuff because I went to school for some of it. But for the most part, I loved it. I really liked it. I like the the beginning when he you know he breaks into the Universal Bank and after he leaves the bank and the driving like the, some of those shots some of those shots are really great shots they got on some really clear nights some of those shots and even with the stuff they added in maybe to like make the moon brighter make the moon bigger and add some clouds in the background with the with, in between the building or even adding some buildings it looked really really good so whoever did that they did an excellent job make, like. By molding that part of the city to make it look what they wanted to look like, so that was actually really cool. Let me see. Okay, but yeah. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, noon, wherever you are in the world today. Don't forget if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. I will definitely catch you on the next one. I love you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, we're out of here. This was cool. I really like this. Let me know what you guys thought. And if you're still here at this point, put a yellow heart in the chat and say done. Appreciate you. I love you. We out, y'all. Yeah, but this was cool. I liked it. (laughs) I like it a lot.